Welcome back to Book and Gaming. Hello. Queen. What an intriguing person. Yeah. We've met all the girls now. All right. So. Now I can fail with all of them. <laughs> yeah, now it's just a matter of which one are you going to end up with, if any. Oh, get that cursor out of the middle of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> From inside, I hear a muffled sing-song voice. La, la, la. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Deadpan. Oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> Jump scares. <laughs> God damn. I was not ready for that. <clears throat> what did she hear? I jump at the sudden appearance of Misha, who I had not heard approaching despite the completely empty hallway. Somehow she had gotten into jumping distance of me without making a sound. Creepy. It briefly reminds me of Kenji's nutty theory about a global feminist conspiracy. Oh, let's not get into that again. Push that a thought aside. Shizune, standing slightly behind Misha, looks aloof as she couldn't have heard the remark that drew Misha's attention, but Misha is visibly excited. She tries to curiously peek past me, even through the door, even though the door prevents her from seeing anything. I was getting a hand job in there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what, are, what are you doing here? You took so long that we had to come check what's wrong. That's no good, He Chan. She wags her finger at me scoldingly. Oh, right, I was getting plywood. Yeah. <clears throat> I found plywood, but everything else no, was she still was missing getting plywood. You, you were getting were paint. Oh, right. And supplies and stuff. Oh, sorry. Er, I got the things here. We uh, was just going to bring them. I think you were up to some mischief, He-Chan. Who was in there with you, I wonder? Misha signs something quickly to Shizune. You see that you... <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's he doing in there? Pointing at her own ear a couple of times. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shizune immediately pushes her way past me and opens the door into the classroom I just left. Damn, they are cock blocks. They are nosy. Yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine the shock she is experiencing. With Shizune's diligence and attitude, the insolence of daring to deface school property by sleeping on top of it must be too much to bear. Oh, right. She, like, fell asleep in there. And indeed, she stares at Rin, frozen in place, apart from the slight but noticeable trembling of her shoulders from suppressed rage, I'm sure. Instead of blowing up, Shizune just takes a few bre deep breaths, adjusts her glasses, and slams the door shut, turning to sign furiously at Misha. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> maybe maybe she did blow up, but I can't understand it. What a goody-goody. God. <laughs> I'm scared of these girls. <laughs> she shoots a very loaded stare at me, too, as if it was somehow my fault that Rin is sleeping on one of the tables. Did you slip her something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gave her the old Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. I hope she's not getting any funny ideas about the reason of my tardiness. Hello? Oh, she's not. Okay. Rin's voice comes from the other side of the door, and it takes a few eye blinks to realize she might have trouble opening it. I open the door to find Rin directly behind it, looking at us with half-interested, interest, half half-interested, half-sleepy face. It's like her regular face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hmm. I see what's going on here. <laughs> Miss Tezuka, what do you think you were doing? You absolutely are not permitted to use school property for such er, disgraceful activities. Sleeping? <laughs> it sure is suddenly very crowded in here. I didn't know it was this popular. I'll take a nap. God. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to say whether she's happy or unhappy about this turn of events. At any rate, she ignores Shizune Misha's scolding, so they have no choice but to drop the issue. They became one person. Yeah, <laughs> they pretty much are. <laughs> Shizune taps Misha's shoulder, points at Rin, and makes some quick signs. Slut. <laughs> Popularity aside, please don't do that anymore. Anyway, how is your project going? Will it be done for the festival? Rin looks at them blankly, apparently at ease under the pressure Shizune's cold stare is putting on her. <laughs> I keep wondering about that myself, too. <laughs> she, like, stoned? or <laughs> did slip her the Cosby. Yeah. And? We'll think about it harder. As Misha... Oh, that... As, <laughs> as I... <laughs> she has no internal monologue. <laughs> as Misha signs her reply to Shizune, her face turns into an unsatisfied frown. Miss Tezuka, please try to take this seriously. It'll be a disaster if the wall looks like someone threw up their lunch onto it. R Rin nods assertively. What are we talking? Uh -huh, uh -huh, She's uh -huh. just sleeping. <laughs> we'll, th we'll think more seriously. Misha actually giggles at that, but Shizune doesn't. Not even after translation. She just shakes her head, takes the materials from me, and takes off with Misha in tow. 
Rin frowns thoughtfully as she looks after the retreating student council duo. Nobody likes those two. <laughs> How rude. It's true, though. I must finish my project before the weekend. There'll be dire consequences if I don't. <laughs> the end of the world as we know it. Like weekends usually are, but more dire. <laughs> Much more dire. <laughs> Maybe I'll postpone my nap to unforeseen future. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Uh, <laughs> you just stand there like saying nothing the whole time. I don't want to go back to my room. That's scary. <laughs> well, Kenji's over there. Get the fuck yeah, that. That's true. I'm about to ask what projects she has and what those <laughs> and what are these apocalyptic consequences, but she walks back into the art room. Since you have nothing to do, would you give me a hand? Hey, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> <laughs> this paint can doesn't fit into my bag, but I need it. She kicks lightly at a huge can of paint that's lying on the floor next to the table she was sitting and sleeping on. It lets out a dull clang. Being the gentleman I am, I naturally pick it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Heavy. Oh, forget it. <clears throat> yeah, sure. Where do you need to take it? Away. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> and with that, she takes off into the hallway. The paint can following, since there's little choice for either of us. You just drop it and run. Yeah, <laughs> just roll it down the hallway. <laughs> the hallway is quiet and empty now with Shizune and Misha gone, so we too leave towards the stairwell at the other end. Every 10 or 15 or 20 steps, I have to change the can from one hand to another, because a thin handle cuts into I my hate palm. that. Yeah. <laughs> Make thicker handles, or put the little plastic doohickey on it. At least it keeps my arms from tiring too fast. Rin strolls on beside me with an uneven pace that I have trouble matching. Or maybe I am walking weird because of the extra weight. Or maybe I'm just self-conscious. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I started thinking about how I'm walking and now yeah. I can't seem to walk and normal. That's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Your steps just seem too short. Forget how to human. It seems one of us is constantly walking too slow or too fast and I can't figure out which. She's just fucking with you. Yeah, probably. Two flights of stairs below, trouble appears in the form of the head nurse and his fox-like oh, grin. Oh, God, I don't remember. Oh, God. Ah, Mr. Nake. Nakai. <laughs> Sorry, been a while. I can't remember every kid's name. Damn, shut up. Nakai. What a happy coincidence. <laughs> Tezuka, too, of course. He nods courteously to Rin, who does not acknowledge him back, then turns to me because obviously it's me who had he had some business with. There's something <laughs> I forgot to mention on Monday. Is there a pool here? <laughs> <laughs> I nod and wait <laughs> passively because I can't even begin to guess what he forgot. The feeling of the handle delving deeper into my skin doesn't make me feel enthusiastic You're gonna about lose your hand. either. <laughs> it's about your medications. Since you haven't been that long on your current medications, there might be some unexpected side effects. You might hallucinate red-haired short hair chicks <laughs> with no arms which might require adjusting dosages or even changing to another kind of medication i've seen that yeah it's nothing to worry about <laughs> it'll go away so we will do a few tests regularly but what i'd want for you it is for you to keep an eye on everything in your condition that it that wow hang on <laughs> yeah right give me a second <laughs> i, I like lost time. it and then i couldn't get it back <laughs> But what I'd want is for you to keep an eye on everything in your condition that feels off. If you get what I mean. I was listening to the jazz music. Here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smooth, easy listening in the hallway. Nausea, headache, anything. And come see me if something happens. Pepto bismol <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how are you? Everything fine? Oh, it's great. I'm going to open my eye for you. <laughs> you winking at me? <laughs> Not that. <laughs> I give up and drop the can to the floor before answering him instead of setting it down like a normal human <laughs> right. <being>. Fuck this. <laughs> Apparently this takes longer than my biceps can handle. <laughs> I'm about to say something generic as an answer, but then I realize how often I've done that lately. Other people have asked me that too. Teachers and students here, my parents, visitors, nurses, doctors at the hospital. Everyone seems to be concerned about that. It's natural for a hospital, not so much for a school. Yeah, but your heart almost exploded Except earlier. School. Yeah, and you just kind of didn't do anything yeah, about it. Yeah, your solar plexus almost <laughs> fell apart. <laughs> this is a small school, and both the student base and the faculty seem to be very tightly knit. Well, yeah, probably. <laughs> At least that's the feeling I'm getting. And this is not the kind of school that gets transfer students too often. The thought should, shivers up my spine, but I give a generic answer anyway. I got anyway. chills. <laughs> I had to talk for 30 minutes before I just gave my generic answer. <laughs> That's great. Also, one other thing. 
Yeah. My sources tell me that you've been at neither the school track nor even the pool. <laughs> <laughs> There's a pool here. So I'd like to know if you've taken up exercising as I asked. Oh, yeah. Of course I haven't, but his way of inquiring gives me the feeling that I should have been running my ass off on the track or visit the pool <laughs> since the very first day. Ugh. You have people spying on me? Not as such. I just happen to know a few people. But that's not the issue here. So, yes. so does, yeah. So don't try to slip try to slip out of it. I just know a few people that have been watching you see her. Looks like he has an earring. Oh just, well. Just, <laughs> well, I was actually just doing some improvised weightlifting as an exercise. Yeah, smooth save. I pick up and lift the can up and down a few times like some sad imitation of a bodybuilder, even though it's weighing down my arms painfully. Oh, you like that? (laughs) (laughs) Seriously, it's like half full. It's not that impressive. (laughs) The stupid grin disappears from his face for a second, then comes back like it was never gone. This isn't a fucking joke. (laughs) Tezuka, would you give us a second? The nurse grabs me by the shoulder without waiting for Rin's permission, which he didn't need in the first place, and drags me aside. Don't you ever embarrass me like that! (laughs) (laughs) He's gonna scold me. When I told you to exercise, I wasn't joking. I understand that you're still on your first week and all, but please don't ignore the importance of this. The reason I'm coming down this hard on you is that habits are not easy to form. The more you slip and postpone, the harder harder it'll be. (laughs) It's the same with everything, like dieting. Can you promise me to be more serious about this from now on? <laughs> Maybe. You might want to save. Oh, right. Right click? Yep. Yeah. Save at every choice just because. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's who cares. You can have like a bajillion save states. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Take a time. Yeah, I promise. Definitely. <laughs> Hashtag sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> he stutters me. For, studies me for a moment and then shrugs, smiling again. Okay, that's more like it. He's about to slap me in the face. <laughs> if you go to the school track tomorrow morning, you'll meet my spy, who probably has no qualms offering consultation to you if you want to jog a bit. I want to swim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's the pool? See you around! <clears throat> <clears throat> it's one of the girls, isn't it? He leaves with a wave of his hand and, had, and no answer. And I walk to Rin. Who has, <laughs> what? Hold on. <laughs> now I'm messing up. He waves with. He leaves with a wave of his hand and no answer. And I walk to Rin, who has been waiting, idly leaning against the hallway wall and staring at the pale lighting fixtures in the ceiling. Even when I approach, she doesn't move her eyes off them. You getting medications for your heart thingy? Were you listening? It comes out more accusatory than I intended, accidentally lashing out on her. But even so, I don't really want to start talking about it. I just met her. I don't know her. It's not her business. Well, jerk. You asked everybody. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Who cares? I mean, yeah. ah, Okay. The nurse seems to be happily ignorant about confidentiality, too. Talking about that kind of thing in public. But it's not Rin's fault, is it? I look up at her, suddenly feeling a bit guilty. But Rin is just staring past my shoulder quizzically, her head tilted like a bird's. (laughs) Sigh. (laughs) <laughs> I don't know why this is so hard for me. It feels like there is some inexplicable lock that prevents me from being more upfront about this. Yeah, they're for my heart. Will they make you better? No, not really. They just make me less, a little less worse. <laughs> Riz <laughs> keeps looking at me for a while longer, and she neither says anything further nor displays any kind of emotion I could discern. I'm thankful that she doesn't. I think I'm still not quite used to all this. At the hospital, it was easy, but I still haven't sorted my feelings out about having to live a normal life with this disability. Oh, man. (laughs) We leave the main building, and Rin leads us onwards, towards the door. We stop at the small patch of greenery in front of the dorm building. There's some horrible graffiti on the wall. (laughs) (laughs) The dorm is built on a slightly elevated ground with a wall and a few trees that everyone has to circle around every time they come or go. It's probably the only inconvenient design in the school. The entire wall made of some kind of bricks as the building itself has been covered with some sort of a painting. Most of it is still mere sketches, quick lines drawn with black and white against the gray plastering that covers almost the entire length of the wall, but some places look a bit more finished. There are human faces and legs and hands. I can't quite say what the painting as a whole might portray. 
Stacks of what seemed to be paint cans are arranged in piles on the ground besides the wall. And you made fun of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, the left side is hardly off the ground yet. <clears throat> It's only like two inches off the ground. It's because I couldn't get in the mood yesterday, so I gave up and went to meditate instead. Then it was suddenly morning. I guess that's a nap, not meditation. Right. I have to work on it, but the guys from our class are helping with the negative spaces and base surfaces whenever, which is a problem. It's easier to paint big areas if there are a lot of people with hands. The reach is better, and it's faster too. Yeah, probably. She goes on a tangent of a tangent, waving a little with her arm, or whatever of it there actually is, to demonstrate even though I got the point already. The white cotton of her sleeve flaps around, and it makes me think it could look sadder than it does. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> but it makes me feel out of place, like almost every tangible reminder of the student base's special properties has in the past few days. Get over it. My god, man. <laughs> <laughs> This girl doesn't notice my dreary feelings, of course, or the fact that she lost me a while ago already, and just keeps on blabbering. So that's why I'm trying to figure out if there's something I need to figure out, and then figure that out before it's too late and all hope is lost and I can't figure it out to figure out. <laughs> there's a pool here. <laughs> <laughs> my guy's a dick. Like, yeah. He's just <laughs> all right. ignoring her. Just... <laughs> yeah. All right. That is an episode, and we're going to, I guess, help paint, because yeah. we have hands and she does not. So, yeah, that'll help her out. Yeah, we're pretty terrible at painting, I'm sure. Mm -hmm.